best way to structure footy for Sunday games. So um, the fact that you've written games, that's a good thing. So I'm assuming you got seven day recovery. So you, you, for the, all those listening in that, that train and prepare on, for Sunday games, this would be my advice for a typical week. Um, and that would be to have your training, first training session for the week. So your P1 on a Tuesday, second training session on the week on Thursday. And then if possible, depending on the level you're playing and then everyone's schedules and including coaches, staff and players, having what we call captain's run on a Saturday for Sunday game and how that would look specifically from your conditioning, strength and power to football. Tuesday would be very much feel good f- football fundamentals point of view. Um, so you would be doing uh, active recovery um, and you want the athletes feeling better than when they came in um, from that recovery point of view. But then the coaches are also getting in some good craft they're probably hosting their re- their review for the week. What should you eat before and after a game? From a personal point of view, more than happy to share my experience. I don't play football, but if I did, I would work back from the game day. So um, let's say you're playing 2 p.m. on a Saturday, um, wake up at your normal routine time. My first meal might be around 8 to 8.30 a.m. On game day, you want to have familiar foods. So I'd typically be eating something that uh, I know my digestive system can stomach well uh, on game day, so you're not going in with upset stomach, which is particularly important when you, um, you're on game day because that way you're going to go in feeling good. You don't want to be um, disturbed going into it, uh, going into a game. So familiar foods, first meal around 8.30, 9 o'clock, and then roughly let's say your driving time would be 40 minutes to an hour typically to, to games. So that's when I'd, I'd time my meal just before that drive, so that way it's a three-hour period before your second main meal so that way you're well digested before going into your next game a bit of a sore foot from playing a lot of footy last week any tips to eat to eat right for saturday lucas i would get that foot um, assessed mate because we want to make sure we're looking after our feet um so firstly get a diagnosis so you got clarity both from a physical point of view but also mentally going into the game um You've got plenty of time to recover and book that in with six days away from game. So that would be my number one tip. And from a recovery point of view, um, you can sort of um, work from there once you've got it. But you followed up there and said should they said it should be okay, which is a good thing. So once you've got that medical clearance, then from there you can um, – I would, wouldn't put too much emphasis on – pushing yourself on the first session of the week, uh, even if that means that you need to um, be off leg. So just do a spin and, and a strength session in the gym, keep your feet on the ground. Our strength and power program in season. So a quick little story um, to start with with this one. I was working in a program a few years ago and we had an alternating program between our two key lifts for lower body, trap bar, deadlifts and box squats. And what we found around round four and six as we're having a few lower, bit, lower back issues. Even one key player actually had to miss a game, uh, which was an AFL game. So uh, obviously not what we want, not ideal at all. So what we learned from that and something that I've always had a strong value of now in my philosophy from a strength point of view is to try and be consistent with our strength exercises, particularly the lower body lifts um, and those ones that are quite demanding um, that we want to get some good loads out to keep our strength up, like the trap bar deadlift. So either if we're going to alternate movements, which I no longer do, we sort of just stick with them and then we'll bring in new movements in bi-weeks because we haven't got a game that week. Obviously, it's low risk. 